Australia is a really important market for us and uh, we feel like we have been absent as far as showing goes so um, it kind of felt like it was the right time to do it again. It's the first time we've shown at night so that's kind of a big thing for us. Um, you know, usually you know, our shows are kind of drenched in natural light. The big thing that we're trying to do um, is grow the collection up. You know, that's, that's kind of where my head's at at the moment, so hopefully that comes across. That's quite a tricky balance to actually strike. Ultra clean and modern and futuristic and at the same time feminine. And that's, you know, what takes the time and the consideration. It's easy to be commercial when you sacrifice the uh, direction or the quality, but that's not really what we're up for. So I think that kind of broadly speaking, it's about you know, looking at, at what it is that you do well um, and what really it is that is you or what people perceive as you and then going, okay, well, let's make that a little bit easier for someone to like really get into. If not fashion, what would I be doing? I always was interested in communication, you know, um, and that's kind of what fashion was for me as an, an extension um, or another way to talk to people. Um, and so, you know, perhaps something in music or film or, you know, multimedia. My advice to designers wanting to show overseas for the first time is to um, go slow, you know, choose the right moment and um, really understand your business before you try to expand and also really understand the market that you're trying to expand into.